H Mart doesn't open until 8 a.m. So we're gonna have to wait until eight. Is it eight? I think it is. It's eight o'clock. Let's go in H Mart. Want uh, want something hot for lunch? What is this? Hadi Lao self heating pot. Self heating pot. I think I want this. Tomato flavor, sweet sausage, spicy sausage, beef. Let's go with the beef. Let's go with the beef. Today is gonna be this beef self heating hot pot by Heidi Lau. It has a 15 minute cook time. And inside this package, unlike other ramen packages where it comes with pickled vegetables and the seasoning and the beef and the noodles. So it's not just a plain ramen package with, with nothing inside with six cooking directions. And yeah, so it says when taking this product out, please also bring drinking water. I'm pretty sure it just means pour the water in the bowl, in the packet. And then let's look at the calorie content. <laughs> You're looking at about 510 calories for the entire thing. So 90 calories for the vegetables, 210 calories for the seasoning, 120 for the beef, 90 for the noodles. Let's see what's inside here and let's open it. And by the way, this thing is is huge. If you look at just the, the height of it, where's my phone? There. So a, a Google Pixel phone next to this, this pot. This thing is, is deep. All right, vent hole on the top. And how do we open this? Oh, there we go. All right. So inside of it is your, what is this? Vermicelli, seasoned beef, tomato flavoring, hot pot seasoning, pickled vegetables in a vacuum pack, and it comes with two trays, so heating pack, and what is this? Utensils? It comes with utensils. It comes with <laughs> serving spoon and chopsticks. Nice. All right, let's put that aside. So in this heating pack, what you're supposed to do is take it out and pour water up to the line. Wait a minute. Uh, where's the instructions? Oh, there's instructions inside the cardboard package. So let's open it. And there's all of your instructions inside the cardboard package. So here we go. Take out the white container, add all your vermicelli and pickled vegetables and the beef. So basically put everything in here first. So let's go, let's go do that now. Let's, let's put it all in. Oh, look at that. So here are all the pickled vegetables. Let's drop that in there. Lotus root, mushroom, bamboo, wakame. Put that in there. Let's put the tomato flavor in there. It's making a mess. Inside, seasoned beef. Can you see that? There it is. Put that in there. Oh, it came out as one big chunk. Uh, okay. And then vermicelli. All right. Let's uh, clean this up and then we'll go ahead and do our heating packet next. All right, now that I've cleaned up the area, it says on these instructions to add water to the fill line in here. And it doesn't look very clear. There's a, there's a line here that we're supposed to fill to. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And then it says, uh, add cold water to the maximum fill line of the black container. So this should be separate. And then we fill, we fill this tray full of water first. 
and then we pour the water in here. And there's a fill line down there and it's not very high. It's actually quite low. And then it says, of course, don't add hot water. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the heating packet inside of this and then let this sucker cook. Yeah, I was, I was pretty right. This is um, calcium oxide. And so this is just like the heating elements that you would have in like a, uh, an army uh, ready to eat meal. So we're gonna drop this in the pot and then we're gonna put this on top. And then we'll go ahead and put our lid on. And you know what, let's, uh, let's wait. Let's let this thing try to do its magic and uh, we'll come back in 15 minutes and then we'll see if if our hot pot is good to go, okay? All right. I don't know if you can hear the sizzle, but it's working here. Oh, there's a steam. There's a, oh, okay, it's gonna hit the lens. All right, it's been 15 minutes and we're back. Let's go ahead and open this up and let's see our hot pot. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that steam, sorry. Sorry, let me get that out of there for you. That's a lot of steam. Woo, all right, let's go get these. By the way, uh, this hot pot automatically wins for giving you utensils. I appreciate it. What you got in here? Let me, let's put this hot pot aside. We got uh, chopsticks. We got, oh, here we go. Yeah, these chopsticks, look, here we go. Let's attach these chopsticks. All right. Nice. Chopsticks, thank you. What is this? A toothpick? A toothpicks inside here and napkins and you get a even a little soup spoon bring this back bring this hot pot back let's get this lid out of here look at that oh yeah the meat uh, breaks up everything looks good <sighs> smells good let's put the spoon down let's take a look at this we got vermicelli looks good you got pieces of lotus root in here. Let's take a look at that. And daikon. I think we have some elephant ear mushroom. And sorry if there's a background hum. I had to turn on the fan to get the steam out or the entire lens is gonna fog up. So why don't we give this a taste and then let's see how it is. I switched to a fork to grab more pieces. Let me explain the flavor to you. The flavor is a little bit sour because of um, you know, some of the spices that they use, I can, it has a little light vinegar taste to it. The vegetables are very crunchy. They're, they're incredibly crunchy. Lotus root's crunchy. Uh, the elephant ear mushroom is crunchy. Uh, the daikon is, is crunchy. The bamboo is crunchy. And I think that's what you get from having these pickled vegetables is that crunch, the noodles, you know, they're vermicelli noodles, so they're gonna be light to begin with, but they're good. The sauce is also pretty good. It has a, um, a tang to it when you eat it, but when you bite into it, it has a great aftertaste. Um, it makes you want more when you, when you pick at it, and it's just gonna flake. It's just gonna flake off, okay? This is, this is really good. I would eat this again. Ramen, ramen people, take note, man. I paid 15 bucks for this thing at H Mart. And you know what? This is the way a, a bowl should be. If you wanna make a ramen dish or whatever, uh, then this is it. Give them the pickled vegetables. Give us our pickled vegetables. You know, give us good pieces of, of meat. I don't care if it doesn't have the chopsticks, although this is, <laughs> this is a nice touch that you gave me utensils with it. But this, this is the way it should be done. Give us full flavor. Give us the vegetables. Give us the meat. Don't just give us the noodles. What you see is what you get. This is good stuff. All right, listen. If you like what you've seen here, you want to see more reviews, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll be happy to make these for you. I enjoy it. Hey, you know what? 
Let's eat again soon. Aloha.